Tonight, Memphis Mayor Paul Young says the city is seeing less crime this year compared to previous years, and he has the data to prove it. He presented the numbers to the Chamber of Commerce earlier today and also a strategy to keep that downward trend going. ABC 24's Scott Mattis is live downtown. Scott, what crime-fighting trick does the mayor have up his sleeve now? <laughs> Well, it's a collaborative effort, of course. Good evening to you, Pepper. Between the mayor and Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis, they said they sat down uh, before the beginning of this year, put down a very strategic plan, and it looks like it's working. Year-to-date numbers are actually quite amazing, and so many business owners said the exact same thing. And I've got a tease for you right now. This vacant building directly behind me, just off Beale Street, this is about to be another MPD command center. The city of Memphis is assuring business leaders that crime is down from last year, and they have the numbers to prove it. In downtown Memphis, crime is down by 26.4%, and citywide, it has decreased by 13.8% year-to-date when compared to 2023. The city went on to say violent crime downtown is down nearly 34%. Across the city, it's down just over 19% in the same time frame. The city City's data goes on to say Memphis numbers are dramatically lower when compared to national numbers and possibly the most critical data showing a decrease in total crime in 2024 when compared to the last five years of data. However, the same information also shows violent crime in downtown Memphis is still dramatically higher when compared to the years 2019, 2020 and 21. But when compared citywide, 2019 and 2024 numbers are nearly identical. The mayor went on to detail plans for the future in an effort to reduce crime, which includes a new downtown command center, which is under construction and located near Peabody Place. Also, 183 new cameras will be added downtown to the existing 246. These cameras will also have AI technology ingrained in them once they're installed downtown. Our efforts expand across the city. When we talk about the camera network that's being installed uh, with those high definition cameras uh, that have the AI that can identify objects and license plates and things of that nature, that's gonna be at 550 intersections all throughout the city of Memphis. 220 of them have already been funded by city council and 63 of those will be downtown. One of the other initiatives, the city is looking to expand their use of gun detecting dogs in downtown Memphis. They want this to serve as a deterrent for anyone who brings guns where they're not permitted. All right, back out here live in downtown Memphis, again, just off Beale Street, off Peabody Avenue. Now, uh, Pepper, I can tell you that uh, we're going to have to wait a few months until this command center is all set and done with the doors open. That is likely to happen next year in April. Now, coming up on ABC 24 News at 6 o'clock, we'll be talking uh, about more of these plans and when city council could actually hear about them and potentially vote on some of them that are not already implemented. For now, live downtown, I'm Scott Mattis. Some real action happening there. All right, Scott, thank you.